Hey y'all, so I am just checking in. I am showing you Jessica at Bahati Life. If you followed me for a while, you know that I've done my favorite YouTubers before and she is one that was on the list. She is someone who I found a year and a half, two years ago and just absolutely felt very, very genuine, very knowing <laughs> um, information from. And she is an intuitive astrologer. She also has an online shop and apothecary. And I've always wanted to be able to support her business. And I finally was able to get some herbs because she sells out. Like when she does a shop update, she sells out. So I finally was able to, uh, she announced the shop update and I made sure I was there. So I've got calendula, which is for protection, success, honoring the dead and easing transformations. Um, I have... This is chicory bark, chicory root. It removes obstacles and blocks, and it's a powerful door opener. And then I have some frankincense tears. Most people just call it frankincense resin, but it's for healing and blessing and purification. And um, then I also have juniper berries, which are protect against bad vibes and strengthens and empowers the wearer or user. And then of course I have my rose buds for all kinds of love, beauty, abundance, attraction. They smell absolutely delicious. I've been using a dried rose from a bouquet that my uh, husband got me a long time ago when we lived in our old apartment. And I really didn't want to, but I would always break off little pieces of the dried, uh, but, but now I don't have to. And then I have my uh, wormwood, which is for clairvoyance, protection, and divination. So I'm just super excited that I finally was able to get some of these herbs. Like we said, you don't have to use everything, but I've been doing stuff for a while with just regular kitchen ingredients, and I kind of wanted to up the oomph power in my spells. And this I had to show you because me and my cousin used to make candles a long time ago. So this was one of the milkshake candles that was a cookies and cream milkshake. And once it burned down, it still had the cookies and cream look on the outside, but we would use it for like in to hold incense, obviously you can see. And I saved these sticks in case we need to poke stuff or light things that we don't want to use uh, our but a butyrol flame to. So this was sitting right here by the fireplace the other night and my husband had turned it on and then I grabbed it and it was so hot. Um, and I almost burned myself, but then I realized, oh, well, I can use this to melt down candles. So this one is a candle I was using and I was burning it down. But I also wanted to show you, um, these are some shell spoons. The, the, in the red is, a, is my magic wand I made a long time ago. And these are some shell spoons that I decided to make after watching someone, she's not making videos on YouTube, but she still kind of uses it. Her name is Nina Soul. And she and her sister, Little Red Witch, Marianne, had a shop called Spiritual Vibes and the Soul Sisters. And she sells these in her shop. And I actually wanted to get some, but you have to join their Facebook auction group. And I always, I'm not always on Facebook. So I decided to go ahead and get um, some of the floor wire from the Dollar Tree and try to make my own. And you can use these to... Um, she uses hers for stirring things, which, you know, scooping things and her tiny shell, she says she uses for um, putting on her uh, coal, putting her loose incense on a coal disc burning. So I decided to try to make my own and they are, I still would love to get some of hers because obviously she is a professional at wrapping. She is also very knowledgeable, knowledgeable about uh, crystals and she also incorporates that into some of her wrapping. She wraps jewelry, she makes dollies. She, she's just an all around artisan crafter, witch girl. And I actually found her through finding videos of Lady Grave Dancer, who doesn't make videos on YouTube anymore. Sadly, trolls, drama, all of that kind of stuff. But she has made like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. I'm going to go through. So this is Nina. And this is when I first saw the, well, I saw the spoons in one of her videos where she was using them. And then this is a video where she's just showing you her different spoon sets. So you can see she makes a large, a medium, and a small. My husband wants the large one. He wants to eat with it. I would have to ask her. I would have to talk to her about it to see if they are food safe. He wanted me to. I was like, I'm not going to make this and have you eaten off of it. But 
these are hers. So I really hope uh, you can get in contact with her through Facebook. Their, their Facebook page is called House of Spiritual Vibes. But and you can get to all the other links from there. And she also gives out her number. So eventually I probably will go ahead and um, text her to see if she still has make some spoons or could make some spoons. Um, so um, I met I met I found her through Lady Grave Dancer, who is also uh, another witch that was on YouTube for many years. I mean, she's got over 500 videos. And what I absolutely love about them is that they do, they give you the knowledge and the teachings, but they also let you know that what we're trying to say in magic is that you can use this tool or you cannot. You can use these ingredients or you can switch them up and they would prefer for you to change them up because that adds your own intention. And a video I was watching of Nina's, um, obviously I saw her spoons and wanted some, but I couldn't get in touch with her and I had shells at my house. So I said, well, let me go ahead and make some. She inspired me to try something different. And she also, I just recently saw a video where she was talking about that in the witch community and just inspiring each other um, to make things and to put something into a potion. And that is what they've done for me. And it's, I really wish they were both still on YouTube. I feel, I feel sad because it's like, I missed the boat. I missed when they were here. And there's, there's Lady Grave Dance. There's so many videos. They, they did a lot of live streaming and um, multi-cam chats with other witches just to get different views and showing how eclectic a lot of this is. Um, even just ingredients and letting you know, well, this is what I use, but you can use something else. And if you don't have to always ask someone, you can just, just let your intuition guide you with what you feel would be best in this potion or this spell or this tincture. Obviously you have to make sure you're doing stuff that doesn't bother your allergies or anything like that. But also what is your intent for this spell or this working or this ritual? What is the intent behind it? And I just thought that was just a good, good mentoring <laughs> motto when you're coming into this practice you have to learn a lot you never stop learning because there's always always something new to learn or uh, an ingredient and maybe i can substitute it for this like i said i started mine with astrology and that's how i got into it totally and that's what drew me to jessica and you know spells you always see little spells that you want to do so i've done small spells and things like that but then when you start learning from others, you say, oh, well, I can I can do more. I can do more. I can use more. And that is what they brought to the table. And they also wanted to build this education of a witch community with education and connection. And so I know they're not highly active on YouTube, but I, I suggest that if you are a learning witch to go check out their channels, most definitely. Because they both honestly have a video for whatever it is. They've broken them down into just, you know, one tidbit video about this herb or that, or some even spell videos. And they didn't mind sharing because they say, hey, this is my spell. This is the way I do it. But you can always do it your way. So I just kind of wanted to dedicate this video to these three ladies. There's a few more witches that I follow on YouTube. And I might make a top 10 witch video, but I just wanted to share this. So I hope you enjoyed it. That's all for this haul. I'll have some more stuff later and I will also link their videos, channels, and connections down in the comments in the description. Later y'all.